Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to connect, how to make connection function, how to customize connection, how to select data from my actual and display on Report Viewer. In the previous video, I, will be, I already show you about how to configure connection and install some library like my actual connector okay my actual for visual studio and also import in the reference of our project with uh, dl file okay i have already show you but in here we have more detail on it and you can customize the connection that you have created so let's go you will see in detail now create my projects sorry yeah new projects i put my project name is uh, report with my Actual, okay. Click OK. So, as you have know already, when you starting to create the project, you need to add reference with the DL file. So let me review in the previous video. Let me check here. You, you have the uh, file and my actual uh, here so but in the uh, file here we not get in here I just delete it so read me here so in the previous video I will show you how to download and install this how to install this and how to add reference when you install the my actual connector net you will get the my actual data .dl. so you need to import this to your projects in ref reference okay so when you install this my actual data .dl will locate it in dry c program file my actual and you can find in this okay so let me i will show you okay the first you need to do you need to add the library to your project you go to you right click on here you go to add add a friend click on it here my I have already browse it so you can browse it again if you're not sure you can see here is the path of it let me show you again go to dry C program file you look my actual and you go to my actual connector net click on it assembly v 4.5 and you can see here and you add it okay it's already and click ok so now we add it to our project I add one report viewer I click it dot in pairing content so you select on the click on this and click on new design okay so next next I have already connection here is my connection in the previous video you have already know if you uh, do not learning from my previous video we you will uh, you will not understand clearly about this so please go to look and see it so you can select here my connection next maybe I'm not start my server so I go to Sam start my service so the part is very important when we do the customized configuration 
so you, we will need it so you can see here is our default connection that we have made but when we change the server you need to customize by your code but I will show you how to do it click on it click next okay next I find my, my data here is the table you can get from you or something of top procedure in here you can rename the data set and click finish okay so that I said here you need you can uh, change it also and it's very important when we customize the actual statement to get the data so we need to uh, this name so you must remember it and you can check it also after you create so here you remember this Click next. Here is the okay the wild, the available fields. So I take it all and drag it drop down in value here. Click next. 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 Okay. So here is my table. Okay. So now let's go to my form again here. So I just click on this side and choose the report. You need to choose report what you want. Here is the report one. In this you can you can change the name also. You just click on right click on it and rename it. So in this case I just put report one and go to form again and click on this choose here you can choose now start to debug it okay that's fine so now uh, I want to change the connection by code and I can change some selecting data in here so we can go to here is my short code let me show you a bit bigger so my so code is the first one we need to import the this library okay not the file library library so you need to import this library to your projects and second you need so what is the this reporting that form it's for create the report function and you get bind the data source you need to this you need uh, this library so import my actual data is for making connection like for example here number two declare cn in public okay so public inform so you need to import this library so number three is the create the function for connecting you can see uh, server you can change the IP here the mean that the server name you can put the port uh, user password okay that the best so let's go and number four is a function for getting data here is the function that we do the select statement in order to get data from the database and here is binding or display data in the uh, report viewer so let's go I just copy the in order to make it fast I don't want to write it again so you can go you click on the form here on about the form you can import all of this yes import Microsoft returning reporting that win form and my actual that data dot my actual clients and the second is you need to okay declare variable right in public on your form you can under the form the class form we here just copy it okay 
in this one I don't want to get it because I will customize on this so I delete this and I save it sorry I save it and the next is number three we create connection to the database so let me copy this sub function so I can pass here so here the sub function you can see uh, sub and here and sub so here the connection so connection here is the local host in this case you local host server and part is you can see here what is your my actual part yeah so this number and here is also right user id root the password is mt database inventory okay so you can see what is my database here is my database inventory and we have the table customers and pooling file okay so in this case i put the pooling file so i save it now let me do the form load okay click on form load to test the connection is connect or not okay i just here yeah, my function i call that this function so let me okay connection is successful like for example if i put the wrong one like in here it will be error okay you can see here because i put the wrong server name okay so i change it to the right okay delete this and i save it again and the next step is i create one function for getting data okay so here is my function I do it, I declare it as uh, public so you can copy this okay and I pass in here so public function get here my function name as data set so before we do the we get the data you need to make connection here is the function I need to call function here can I uh, function connection so we call here and then I declare the as a data set I need adapter okay I need string actual uh, here you can customize here select okay start from uh, customer so here is the table names and here you use the uh, new adapter to okay to get the data and you take you use the adapter to fill data in data set here okay and we return data set so the last one is here you display data okay you display data or bind data into port viewer so you can copy this and i go to my form i just add let me unparent it okay just need anchor go to anchor yes no 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 so we where is it here mm, and like this okay and i want to add one button one button here my button yeah, okay so you can name it so okay click on it and you pass and you pass the code you copy this code and pass on it okay and save it 
So here we need to dim. Okay, we need to declare data set, and data set equal the function here, the get data. Okay, so the get data return as data set. So in here we need to declare new data set here and equal data set. So in here the report data source we need to declare it. And here is very important. So which report use the I mean that which data set name in your report. So in order to check this you can go to your report here. Sorry. You okay you can check in the report, click on report and you find data set in here. You click on it. Here is the name of the data set is data set one. So I go to my form and change it to data set one. I save it. And here is the data set that table. Okay. So here is the uh, function or sorry, it 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 the data. So it will display on data set here and you can here before you before you bind to the report source you need to clear it and then in here you can add the resource point here resource into the report okay and then you can you need to refresh your report so that's all in my code so now let's go to run together and you click on this connection successful okay you can see but now I want to show only one alice so I, how can I customize you can go to the get function get data function here and you can put the where condition where condition name equal Alex, so let start again and I click search. Okay, so only a like. So that's all for my presentation about uh, report viewer and all of these points. And if you have any question, you can comment in my comment box in my channel, and I will show you more how to. Uh, do the report with the pod viewer in the next video. So thank you for watching.